This is a quick walkthrough of useful web pages I found for the IPA. Uh, here, this is a very useful page, lingerado.com. You enter text into the window, click show transcription, then below. Below down here is the, uh, the transcription. You can look at your original text and the uh, API version, which is very nice. You can also listen Hello. To, to the start of the text converting. This is a very useful tool for learning and practicing IPA. This page is a list of uh, the alphabet. A useful thing I found here is that it gives a name to the various symbols. It's nice to be able to say what a symbol's name is. Here's a similar list of where the characters are separated by uh, which character they start with. So that's, that's handy. In my notes, I've made a list of the important characters, mostly the vowels. This page is a description of the International Phonetic Language. It's uh, uh, quite detailed. This is a definition of what a diacritic is, which is a punctuation mark above or below a symbol. This is the Cambridge Dictionary and Thesaurus, which supports IPA, so that's very good. It also supports uh, speech. Hello. Here's a description of the Lucidia Sans Serif Unicode font, which displays all the IPA characters. If you find that you've got empty squares on the screen, you probably need to uh, select another font, and this is a good one to use. This is a description of how to <coughs> change the font in Internet Explorer. Yeah, this is the International Phonetic Association's homepage. Here's the alphabet uh, in some tables. This is a useful tool for entering IPA text. You can just click on a, on a symbol and it gets entered in automatically. This is another tool for uh, entering IPA phonetic symbols. Here again, you just click on the symbol and it gets input. This is a tool for practicing IPA. You select an exercise, press play, and it will uh, say a word that you then figure out what word it's saying. You can have it show the answer. Here's a discussion on pronunciation or spelling for English. Here's another web page about pronunciation or spelling keys. Example down here is for the word pronunciation, the re spelling symbols are uh, what's commonly used in North American dictionaries to make it easy for people to understand how to say the word. And then beside here is the IPA symbols. Here's a discussion of eraticity in English, which is where some English uh, British speakers drop the R at the end of a word. This is a tool for recording your voice and comparing it to uh, existing recordings. Here are more software tools. Uh, they run under Windows, Windows software. Here's a Windows program for entering uh, IPA letters. I haven't used this one. Here's a discussion of stress and vowel reduction in English. This is Babylon translation software. Here is a vowel chart that shows the various vowels. Here is the actual International Phonetic Alphabet version for 2015. Here is a discussion of uh, consonants and vowels and such with examples. 
Here is another table of vowels and consonants. Here are the sounds of English and International Phonetic Alphabet, another table of vowels and consonants. Here's a simple description of IPA for English. So this is the subset of IPA that is used by the English language. Here's a web page that you can click on a vowel uh, and uh, it'll, it'll say the vowels. So uh, uh, this is where you actually get to hear the various sounds. Here's another uh, chart. What I like about this one is I can turn the hints on and off so I can practice whether I know what the various symbols mean. Here's an introduction to the IPA. It's a good place to start to understand the, the basics. And that's a quick uh, wrap-up of the web pages that I've been using for IPA.